Hey guys, Tech Manny here, also known as Matthew Rivera, and today I have a very special video. I'm gonna be installing this thing into that PC right next to me. I'm really excited to do it, so let's get started. <laughs> Hey guys, so before I start, I want to tell you guys something about this CPU. This is the AMD Ryzen 9 5950X. So my sisters have computers from CyberPowerPC, same thing as mine, different case of course, and innards, some of them. And their CPU is the Ryzen 9 5900X. I only have the 5950X, because it's a little bit better, not to top their competition or anything, but I had my eyes on this for a very long time. So, it is what it is. <laughs> and I want to mention something really important before we start here, is that um, power down your PC and make sure it is cool because you're gonna be dealing with the CPU and the CPUs get really freaking hot, so you need to be really careful. So make sure you leave it off for a few hours or even leave it off for overnight and unplug everything, even power, from your PC. Mine has not been turned on because I turned it on last night. Why I turned it on last night is because I restarted the BIOS just to make sure it's completely stock and nothing will be fooled around with or anything, especially when we install the RAM. So that's pretty much it. Just make sure you do, do all those things and you're gonna be a-okay. Now there's nothing really special with this, honestly. It's just, it says Ryzen or AMD Ryzen 9 5000 series processor. There's the processor, by the way. And then um, just a little bit more info stuff here. No cool design. There's nothing really much to this box, honestly. But I got a new knife yesterday, actually, when I got the CPU cooler from Walmart. It's a Kershaw filter. It's a really nice um, knife. Um, I didn't like my other knife that I had before because it had jagged edges. I'm gonna cut this like butter. Close this out. Be really careful not to cut yourself. And we're gonna open it. So, I don't think anything's in this. Yeah, it's just a wasted piece of plastic. Um, what's this? First of all, we have this. Important, please read. The AMD Ryzen 500 um, 5000 series desktop processor contains in this package is compatible with AMD socket AM4 motherboards when a compatible BIOS update has been installed. And mine has the recent BIOS update. Um, I checked yesterday and it was from last year. So I'm thinking that's pretty much it for that. Oh, this opens, oh, it's different languages. Okay, that's it. And then this is, oh cool, I like this. Certificate or of Authenticity. Very nice. Now I'm assuming this is like an installation guide that's really big. And honestly, if you have your knowledge about CPUs, I replaced the CPU in my Mac and I have good knowledge about it. Well, this is cool. It gives you a complete, um, you know, fill out of everything. And then, oh cool, we got a little sticker. Oh, I'm placing that on the, I'm placing that on my CPU, probably at the bottom or next to um, where my Elgato logo is when I got my PCIe game capture card, but that's really nice. I didn't know it came with the sticker. I love stickers, if you haven't noticed. Here is the CPU itself. I'm not gonna take it out just to be safe and um, because it's in its case. And when I do take out my Ryzen 7 3700 30, X, I think I have, um, I'll place it right back in here and place it in the box so it's safe. Honestly, like I'm just doing this, but it's it's not really for real. It hasn't hit me yet that I was blessed to have a job and get all this stuff. It's awesome. Wow. So finally, let's install the CPU. Finally. So here's the PC right in front of us. Um, what I just saw that I just remembered is that this thing is dusty. Even though I just blew this out with compressed air a few weeks ago, definitely needs it. Um, especially when we're gonna be dealing with the CPU, I don't want any type of dust or even the RAM 
dust going anywhere in spots that will make the computer freak out. So I'm going to go outside and blow this out and um, we'll come right back and start the CPU install. Alrighty, so I blew this out with compressed air. It was pretty dusty, so I'm glad I did it. But um, there's a few things I need to um, tell you all about. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver um, because you have to unscrew the uh, brackets that hold this um, CPU cooler in. So what we need to do is to remove this specifically, there's gonna be a latch right here that you pull this way and pretty much you can probably pop this out here. I have not looked into this, so I'm just pretty much guessing. So you can pop this out and probably just place it, take it out like that. So let's try it. So we can remove this, I believe. There it goes. Also, there is a wire that we have to take out that's going to CPU fan up. Doesn't look like we have to press down. Oh, there it goes. It's moving freely. I just have to figure out how to remove it. There it goes. That's one bracket. There it goes. So with that being said, there it is. Pops right out. A really cool mechanism if you really think about it. Really sturdy too. So this is when this comes into place. This is basically a grounding strap. All you do is place it on your wrist and then you can attach it anywhere on the chassis and you're grounded to the chassis. Since we're now we're dealing with the CPU and motherboard area, you don't want to fool with anything of getting a shock in here, especially when you're on a rug, moving around on the rug, zap, you're done. We're going to now take um, these brackets out, which we're going to unscrew with a Phillips head. These brackets come out with those screws. We can place these to the side. What you do is that there is going to be a tab right here. And all you do is that you press and you don't want to just press and release it to make it fling. You have to hold it and slowly release it out. So what you do is you press in and push out um, towards the graphics card. And then you lift ever so slightly and then it pops out. Cause it'll, when you do this, it makes it and you're good to go. All we do is now lift it out. And here is the little tiny CPU <laughs> that was powering this entire thing. So on the bottom um, left-hand corner, there is going to be an arrow. And then you have to match that arrow up onto the CPU or on the motherboard. And by the looks of it, it looks like the CPU arrow that I showed you is going to be facing this way and the arrow is this way. So we're going to um, ever so slightly fit this in and hopefully um, not bend any of these pins because if we bend any pins, we're screwed. So we're going to slowly place this in and it fits perfectly. Then now we're going to do the exact same process of li um, lifting that little post. We're going to push it down. So we're going to make sure it's still in. We're good. Then we're going to move this down and in, and we are good to go. This thing is locked in. So now we can disconnect ourselves since we're not going to be touching anything in the CPU for right now or in just in this computer in general. So it's worth mentioning that I'm not gonna be using the CPU thermal paste that's on the CPU cooler. I'm gonna be scraping it off or using alcohol and a cotton swab, wiping it off. And I'm gonna be using this because I've heard that the thermal, um, that the thermals with that um, stock thermal paste is not the greatest. So I'm gonna be using this. I use this on my iMac um, to install the i7 from the i5 to an i7 goes really good and it does support um, AMD4 and um, this company is a very good brand so why give it a shot? And if the thermals are um, bad, of course I'll get another thermal paste, a more high quality one and take it out, replace it and we'll be Gucci. <laughs> I never say that word. So the next thing on the list is this big boy. We're going to be um, unboxing this and placing it all in this PC in the next video, 
So stay tuned for that. Have you subscribed yet? If not, what are you doing? You should. When you subscribe, there's something called a notification bell. And when you press that, you will get notified whenever I upload a video like this or any type of video. I also have a vlogging and gaming channel. The links will be in the description box below. And you can check it out at the last 20 seconds of this video. This is the, probably the most in-depth thing I've ever done with a computer set aside from the iMac, completely tearing it down to the motherboard. But this one, Seems pretty simple, so I'm really excited to install this, and um, I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. So, yeah.